welcome back to our channel. We are actually about to leave for a last minute beach vacation for the weekend. We booked a beach rental house and we're headed there. I had to teach some classes this morning and I still have one more class tonight, but I'm just gonna teach it at the house. But we're trying to pack all the kids up and get ready to leave. I have all the food we're taking behind me. If you've seen our other vlogs though, you know that Jenna gets super car sick. So I picked up some new stuff to give her because it's like two and a half hour drive or more. We're going to Crystal Beach in Texas. So I got her some Dramamine for kids that we're gonna try. We tried this with Evan and made him super cranky and drowsy, but we'll see even though it was the non-drowsy kind. And then we also got her some Motion Ease little drops that are supposed to go behind her ears. So I'm gonna try that with Jenna. We're trying to pack up all this stuff back here. I got a bunch of fishing poles and stuff behind me. First dose should be taken a half hour to one hour before starting activity. Okay, well, this is gonna be good enough. We'll try giving you one tablet and you're gonna chew it, okay? okay? We're gonna chew it up. It might make you tired, but that's okay. At least you won't throw up, right? And we'll have to take a bag just in case you get sick. Mm -hmm. On plane or in car? We're just going in the car, but we don't want you to get sick. Let me open this. We're gonna chew it up. Okay. Okay, take that and eat it like candy, okay? Mm -hmm. Chew it up and swallow it. Okay. Put it on your tongue, chew it up, and swallow it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, chew it up and then I'll give you some water, okay? Mm-hmm. Here. And we also have motion ease, and this is goes behind your ears. This one you don't have to take. We're just gonna put the drops behind your ear. That's not too bad, right? Mm -hmm. There you go. Let me see the other ear. It's supposed to make you not sick. There you go, honey. We'll try it, okay? I can smell it. I know. Doesn't smell too bad, right? Mm -hmm. Hopefully you don't get sick. Chris is all packed up in his car seat. We never go anywhere thanks to coronavirus, but we really need to get him a new car seat. He's not over the weight limit or anything, but he is rather big for the car seat, so it's time for a convertible one for him. <laughs> right, Cruz? You ready to go to the beach? Heading out. All right, hold this bag just in case you get sick, okay? Is No, it's not open kind of ridiculous the amount of stuff that we have to pack for a two-night trip but that's the life with five kids I guess I'd rather be safe than sorry and have everything that we need you got the pack and play right babe okay yeah he is let's see I almost forgot to get the bag of masks and sunscreen of course my kids leave the drawers open okay sunscreen Oh, that's 50. Bug spray. Get both of those. The masks. Does anyone else feel like COVID has just added to the amount of things that you have to pack on every trip? Because I definitely do. Hand sanitizer, Clorox wipes. Our van is nice and full. Hopefully we have everything. We actually have to do a drive up order at Target for some lasagna because that was out on our grocery order and we need that for one of the dinners from the night. We have some family coming up too to join us there. We want to have enough food for everyone. And then also one of the fishing poles that we ordered was out of stock and so we're one fishing pole short. We're running a little bit behind schedule. We wanted to be there earlier but our kids did have school today, a virtual school, and Evan had a lot of tests and assignments so it took a little bit longer than we wanted and we were waiting on Amazon to deliver some last minute things. We're actually staying on the Bolivar Peninsula in Crystal Beach which is technically like an island and so DoorDash and did you get the Coke? So we really have to make sure we have everything before we head out there. We're at Academy waiting for them to bring us our curbside order. We got a little flying, it's kind of like a mini Frisbee for Jenna. We got some larger ones for the boys. We got two more games, five second roll, and this other game called the voting game that we could play with our family. Some of them are for kids, but some of them are not. I wanted the, 
these games to be mostly ones that the whole family could play though because usually when our family gets all together we play a lot more of like adult games but the kids have other stuff to do but this is like a family vacation so I want to try to include them on everything. My sandals are on their last leg after wearing them to Disney World and all the water and everything so I did get some new ones from Target too. And have these that I could just wear to the beach and not have to worry about them. So they were like $9.99. All right, we got the fishing pole. Are you excited? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> it says two hours and eight minutes, so not too bad. Carefully climb all over our healthy snacks there, friends. Yeah. There's our kitchen. Oh yeah, there is a boat, isn't there? <laughs> That's where we go sailing. Oh, there's the living room. Here you go. Yeah, go put it in the bathroom, okay? It looks like back in the bathroom, okay? There's a seahorse. There's a seahorse. Yeah. It's a seashell. Yeah, and there's another potty in there. Yeah, there is a potty in there, isn't it? Yeah, I think so too, Evan. That looks cool. Oh, don't be scared. I like this bed. You like it back up here too? Yeah. There's a bed. I think so. Yeah, these are the same remotes. Wow, look at that fan. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> and look, oh, another yeah, balcony bed. out here. Whoa. That's so cool. <gasps> oh, yeah. Maybe we can see the Take a look. Oh, I can hear it. I cannot even see, but we're right on the beach. Yeah, it's over there. Okay, These and then let's go. Uh, Look at these doors. It looks all like our house. Yes. We have another bathroom here. Uh, Look. Look. Look, Look at this one. Oh my God. That oh, you can sleep on the top one? There's three top ones. And then there's the remotes right here. I can sleep with Jenna, right? Yeah, yeah. we can all sleep in here. Yeah, look, there's... Woo! I got bottom. I got bottom. There's the pillows. Wow, five beds. One, two, three, four, five, six. Dad, there's six in here. Oh my, my. Oh my, my, that's right. Do you like it? Right yeah. Be careful. Another bedroom with four bunk beds. Wow. This is very Oh, we have our own mini window. I know how cool. The windows are outside. This is a really cool room, don't you think? Yeah. yeah. I want this I one. really love it. <gasps> oh, it does look so Mommy, cool. Look, Mommy. you even have your own light switch. Yes. Mommy, I want that one up there. Okay. You got it. I know we just got here, but I do have to have a class in a few minutes at eight. So I think I'm just gonna set up on the bed and put my computer on a stack of pillows and just set right here. It's just one class that I have to teach and thankfully it's teenagers and a group that I've taught tons of times. So I think it'll be okay. I know. We had to do a little bit of baby proofing and move some of the sailboats up there because Cruz was getting it. But we got our stuff unpacked. We brought some snacks, easy breakfast stuff, things over here. Got a little bit of food in the fridge.
While I was teaching, I think our kids made themselves at home upstairs. Are you guys living your lives in here? No. Sorry for interrupting. I was just checking on you guys. Are you okay? Yeah, we're fine. My parents should be getting here in a little bit. We all had to work today. But we'll wake up tomorrow and have our first day on the beach. And my cousin is coming too. So it should be fun. It's morning. We just woke up. Cruz woke us up. And then I just got ready a little bit. I haven't changed my clothes yet though. My dad is actually still not here. My mom is not coming because her friends are throwing her a surprise birthday party this weekend. My dad was supposed to come after work yesterday. And then he ended up packing really late he's bringing his boat and things but anyway i'm gonna go get that one some breakfast lance is taking a shower cruzy no 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 don't go in on daddy good morning mm. let's go get some breakfast you want to hold my hand and he is walking now finally i'm so 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 happy look he can walk good job Cruz. come on oh look your baby Good job, Cruz. Come on, hold my hand. Hold mama's hand. Let's go get you some breakfast. Come on. I'm also really anxious to see outside because we could not see a thing last night. And this beach house is right on the water. That's the beach right there. Wow. It's so humid that everything out here gets wet from everything. A nice thing to wake up to in the morning. Huh, Cruz? Good morning, Jenna. Did you wake up? Good morning. Actually, the window was on top. Really? This is Jenna's very first time ever going to the beach. Jenna and Cruz. It was cold out in the night. Yeah. Uh, but it's not too cold now, right? Yeah. Hi. Good morning. Come on guys, let's go inside. Let's have some breakfast. No. I think we're gonna make some eggs and bacon for breakfast this morning. Yes? Um this egg tastes really yummy. I'm glad you like those eggs. We can have this bacon and your I'm missing my child proofing at home. Chris is getting into every cabinet he can, of course. We're playing some what do you meme while we wait for the beach to warm up. Jenna just earned her trophy and <laughs> she got the best caption to that one. Yes. Can I have less cookie? Mm, yes, you can. All right, whose turn is it? Mine. All right, Chelsea's got a dog. Let's pick a caption. Chris has been making this sound for like two minutes straight. <laughs> when the bell rings on the last day of school. Sorry. He does look happy a little When you bit. pick up dog food and some gets on your hand. Oh. When you're bored and someone tells you to read a book. When you have way too many shorts. Your parents get you more. <laughs> when you find out you got the part of a small tree in, in the school play. <laughs> oh, Jenna. Jenna, you win! Jenna, you got four trophies. Congratulations! This looks so funny in his little wetsuit. <laughs> looks like a little skeleton baby. Jenna's wetsuit did not come in in time, so she's going with a bathing suit and some leggings oh. on. <laughs> a little surfer baby. Ew. No way, let me see. Me too. You actually found one? Yeah. Let me see. Oh. <laughs> it's empty on the inside too. Whoa. Look, it's a perfect one. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Down 
do that with sand, baby, okay? Okay. Okay. Oh, I should have bring my surfboard. Oh yeah, you should have. That would have been perfect. Thank you. I guess those wetsuits really work with keeping them not cold. hard to hold the kite. That one especially. It's really easy to fly though if anyone needs a good kite. I'll link it in the description box. Oh my gosh, look at Cruz. It's really not that bad. I thought it was going to be like miserable, but it's not. It really is heavy. I don't know how she's holding this. to make lunch. Cruz was fine outside for a little bit and then all of a sudden he just got cold. So we came back and gave him a bath, got him dressed in some warm clothes. He's gonna have some lunch and then go down. Jenna just keeps saying over and over again, I'm so happy. I'm so glad we got to go to the beach. Chelsea's making her a sandwich and Lance is making us some pizzas. And the boys are all upstairs taking their showers. What are you guys eating? Robbery. If you all don't have throw throw the burrito, it is our family's favorite game. It's our kids' favorite. We're gonna play with Chelsea for the first time. It's just throw throw burrito. Yeah. What did I say? Throw throw the burrito. <laughs> Forgive me. It's throw throw burrito. Whole new internet search. <laughs> The burrito cards are worth two points for three. Um, or pile and yell the name of the battle. Brawl, war, or duel. When a battle is declared, all other gameplay stops. When you play three matching brawl cards, the player to your right and the player to your left are immediately in a brawl. Oh, Brady gets a burrito. No. Four. Well, I don't have to be one. Oh. <laughs> Ow! Four. Four. I, don't, I only have three. I only have three. Guys, Jenna, you five. win! Guess what that means? That means you have to duel dad for the winning. No. Eight, two, one, Brita. Do it! Oh! You got it! Jenna, you win! High five! Good job, Jenna. Congratulations, oh. you got the Fear Me badge. Dad, you did me win! We all put on a few more layers of clothing. I have my leggings on under my jeans. The boys all dress warmer. We're gonna head back down to the beach. Jenna's so excited to collect some more seashells. Beach round two. Wow.
I went through the voting game and took out all the not safe for kids ones. We're playing the voting game and having a dinner of lasagna and salad and garlic bread. Yummy! You like it, Jenna? What's your favorite part? The salad, the bread, or the lasagna? Salad. The salad. The garlic bread? Good. What you doing, Jenna? Time to make a house, but we we'll play house. You're doing so good. And we are getting set up with a new game we've never seen before. A game of cat and mouth, I think it's called. Flick them. Flick a ball by inserting it into a paw flicker. Yeah. Alright, now we have to count down again. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, it's Oh, Evan wins round one. Okay, we need to put four yellow balls on each side. Four. I got four over here. Three, you two, want to get rid one. of the white Go. ones, Jenna. Good job, Jenna. Can't do it. Do you know, almost. Brother against brother. Impossible. Oh, responsible. I like how the eyes are the scorekeeper. Good morning from day three on the beach. We just woke up and got most of the kids dressed. My dad is here. I don't know what our plans are for today. We really want to take the kids fishing. They've never actually successfully caught their own fish before, so they would be super excited about that, and they want to do some swimming. We're not leaving until five tonight, so we have another good day on the beach. The kids all had bacon and eggs. Jenna somehow twisted her ankle and she's been kind of limping this morning. You doing okay, Jenna? I hope so. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. But we're headed down to the beach again for the day. And then my dad's gonna find a fishing spot. And then we'll take the kids fishing. Ankle feeling better, Jenna? Good. Brady decided that he wanted to swim again, so he's in his wetsuit, but if it gets too cold, I think he's going to come back and put his clothes on. We'll see. They are all about swimming. It's not really that cold. It's warmer today than it has been, but it's still just really windy.
definitely the nicest day we've been here. It really feels nice. The sun is out finally. It's like 67 degrees. Oh, and check out Ezra. How is it, Ezra? <laughs> Shake it off. <laughs> Shake it off again. You still got Jenna, you want to get buried? Yeah. Okay, come over here. Oh, you don't want to get buried? How's it been in the water? Good. How's it cold is it? It's not that cold. Really? Yeah. Like it, Jenna, you're right. That's so nice of you. It's very kind to share. for the pedicure, Ezra. Oh, 
already decided he's gonna go inside and get some bread and try to feed the seagulls. He's been trying to get close to them all day. We'll see what happens. It's Chris's nap time. Hopefully he can get a snooze in on the beach. Oh, Brady's got them! Oh my god. He's holding the bread up. Oh my god. Yeah, look. <laughs> oh my gosh, he got his dream. <laughs> He's gonna go in the water. <laughs> he never dreamed it would be so effective. <laughs> Wait, did they go on him? Wait, did they actually go on him? Ready, run! What happened? I was running with bread and I threw a bunch of it on the ground. But then they, I'd always get like two feet away and then they'd just fly back at me. Was that an experience or what? Yes. <laughs> My dad is still trying to find a good spot to take the kids to for fishing. So we'll give him a little bit more time and then head back to the house and head out to fish. Hopefully, fingers crossed. If we can find a spot, that's okay. The wind is kind of a little bit high for fishing, but the kids are excited to try regardless though. So we'll just see if it happens or not. But either way, we've had a really nice trip. Nice and relaxing. And it's been nice to find something that's like COVID friendly. We haven't had to come into co to contact with one person other than Chelsea and my dad, who we just saw a few days ago. And Chelsea works from home, so she's good. And my dad, um, he works in a large warehouse and there's only like two other employees and they just load trucks. He doesn't even come in contact with the people. So it's pretty much as safe as a vacation could possibly be. And no masks, even better. Go rinse yourself off. I think it's time we head back, okay? We're heading back to our house. We're gonna start getting our stuff loaded up, probably eat something for the last time, and then head over to where we're gonna try to do some fishing. What'd you get? of the house. Careful, Jenna. Come on in. Thankfully, after we got back from the beach, Cruz was able to go down for a little bit of a nap. We're making hot dogs for the kids and everyone. And they all had showers again. We finished eating and relaxing a little bit. We got everything packed up, and now we're gonna head out to go fishing with my dad. At least I think that I have everything packed. You see the moon? Oh. Not see the moon? Oh. Look up in the sky. It's getting kind of cold and we're pretty far from our house. But it's got the 
on a fishing pole. I saw its leg moving. You saw the crab's leg moving? Yeah. Oh, what do you think about that? It's pretty scary. I don't want to touch it. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'll have to put it back in the water. Because I have to go back to his wife. His wife? Oh, his life. Yeah, he's gonna go back to his life. Packing up to head home. I'm gonna give Jenna her anti-nausea medicine in a bag, just in case. We're finally home. I ended up getting car sick on the way home. I even put that stuff behind my ears, but I guess it doesn't work all the time. I'm gonna try to get everything unpacked and the kids settled in. They have a few hours before bedtime and tomorrow's a school day. But it was so nice to have such a great weekend. I'm so thankful my cousin Chelsea came out with us and my dad came out with us. We made great memories. It was really cool to see our kids learn to fish. They really have been wanting to get better at casting and stuff. They've only really done it like once, which is crazy because fishing is something that I really grew up doing all the time because my dad is a huge fisherman. We were always going somewhere fishing and so it was really special to see them get that time together. It really is so nice with me working from home and teaching from home. It's just so much less stress that I'm carrying that I actually can unplug and take my family places on the weekend. Can't wait to plan our next little weekend getaway. Hopefully I can think of something else that's COVID friendly. That doesn't take too terribly long to drive to either because we don't wanna fly anywhere because of COVID. But I am a little exhausted and needing to wind down. So I'm gonna try to do some unpacking and have some prepping to do for my classes tomorrow debated on whether or not I should vlog this weekend if you would even be interested, but I'm glad I did for the memories. If you have any questions or anything, leave a comment below. I'm also linking the vacation rental we used as well. We'll link that below because you guys are always asking us like what house we stayed at and things. So that's in the description box if you're interested. If you enjoyed any part of this video, please click the thumbs up button. Subscribe to our channel if you wanna see more videos from us and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.